I was off the air for 12, 13 years or so when I was out running around with the Who and the Dead and all that. But when I come back, I hadn't been on in years. I got on and it was awful. Everybody was mushy and bassy, and I was like, what the hell happened here? Well, the imports came in. Before that, it was all American-built, crystal microphones, very articulate audio and so on. The Japanese, eh, no, their audio wasn't that great. And so I started working. I bought a new Kenwood that had just come out. I'm like, God, this thing's crappy. <clears throat> it it only had a mic gain control. That was it. And I said, we need more. So I built this. 1982, uh, this was the first equalizer for ham radio. Two bands, 160 hertz plus or minus 12 dB. Where's the other one? You know where it is. 2.5K, right in the middle of where you need speed. Sure. And I learned all that from Paul Klipsch and... Uh, that's another great story. But anyway, uh, that hit the front page of QST and all that. And it, it became a big deal. And then ICOM hired me and that equalizers and all their $15,000 radio. Same thing with Kenwood and Yesu. Only Yesu wanted to do it better. So I did a parametric for them. They got a three band parametric in that ham radio transmitter. Yeah, they, they still do. They've always been big on the parametric. That's, I'm the reason. Uh, I, I did the thing with Dr. Inouye. He had sent me a letter in 19, it would have been about 1999, I think it was, sent me a letter. I'm talking about the founder of Icon. Sure. It, it had a picture of my Goldline microphone, one of these guys, and his uh, IC781, which was a great contest radio in those days. And he said, I'm thinking of new radio line, he wrote. I want to use EQ. And so it was no big deal. They could have figured it out, but I told him what frequencies the two filters were and why and all that. So all from the Pro 1, Pro 2, Pro 3, all the way out to the this great little thing here. Oh, my God. Got the 705. I say you probably had two of them. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? And they're a wonderful radio. <laughs> it really is. So much fun. <laughs> And that's got my two band EQ. About two years later at Dayton, Dr. Hasegawa comes walking into booth. He's about seven foot tall. <laughs> His family owns Yesu. And he says, I want to talk to you. And I said, uh, well, let's step out of the booth there. What are we talking about? That EQ stuff, I want to do it better. I said, well, you can do it better. But you'd have to get into like a parametric. Yeah, that'd be good. I ah, not so fast. Why not? I said, education. What mean? I said, well, with my two band that I did for for uh, ICOM, I set the frequencies of the two filters and the user just has the plus or minus and it works very well, very easy. With the parametric, you're going to have nine buttons and you don't know where any of them are. What do you mean? I said, well, you have all of, all of the different things repeated three times. And then I tried to explain to him, oh, education, no problem. Well, it was. You look at even the manuals today. I designed a damn thing on it. See, what the hell is all of this? <laughs> so my, my, I have really neat things on our websites, how to do it. We really get into radio that they can understand. And that's what's wrong with so many people that write books or whatever. Uh, they're all just masturbating their own ego. And they don't help you, and that that really bugs me. 